So uh, hello everyone, this is Lou Martin. I'm a conscious channel and a student of uh, consciousness and I am thrilled uh, today to be hanging out with uh, one of my new colleagues and friends from the Voices of the Light Tribe uh, website and the uh, upcoming uh, solstice um, celebration in Glastonbury, UK, uh, and a webinar that we're gonna do on March the 23rd. Here, please say hello everyone to Mr. Will Reardon. Hello. Hi there. Hi there. Will, tell us all about yourself in, in, in a few few sentences, yeah? What, in a few what, sentences. Yeah, tell us. I, I, um, I am an artist. That's how I, that's how I function. As that's, that's how I've, I find it easiest to describe myself as an artist because, um, you know, I'm on this kind of spiritual awakening thing and, uh, and my brain's just like completely exploded and I do absolutely everything and think multidimensionally and I really just see myself as uh, a sort of connection, column of light to source. There's not a huge amount of sort of <clears throat> in between a channeling psychic stuff going on. It's just like everything and then I seem to just be here in like a human avatar body wondering what to make of it all, really. Brilliant. I can relate to so much of that, my friend. I promise you. Um, when, did this, uh, when did this awakening uh, happen for you? How did it happen? Um, in the year 2000. Okay. I, I was trying to figure everything out. And I was, right. at, I was at university and um, <clears throat> I was researching a lot of stuff and I was having a good time and I was thinking and thinking and thinking and trying to get to the bottom of exactly what was going on here. You know, exactly what I was experiencing. We would, I was studying design, so we were learning about the social and environmental um, impact of, of design so I'm looking around going oh my god you know we've got nature and then but we just completely live in a human designed world and if and you know with a with a little twist of uh, basically being inspired by nature and we were really learning about deep ecology we're kind of getting into Gaia theory and we're getting into quantum physics and I was reading like the Tao of physics and that kind of stuff so I had these kind of peak bits of right. what I now know is like you know spiritual stuff right coming through and influencing that and of course because we're you know we're here in the physical we can be influenced by that and create something utopian something heavenly yeah as as an alternative to, to to what we've got you know yeah and um and so thinking more and more and more and i, I could kind of tell in my head that i was getting somewhere psychologically and mm -hmm. then one day i was like oh my and i was i think i was i was thinking a lot about and i was doing a lot of research with um ancient culture that was really pinging up for me like um you know Atlantis and Lemuria okay. I guess as an answer to why um, Cambodia and Egypt and um, and Mexico all have like really similar kind of stuff going on you know what's this religion thing all about and then yeah eventually I kind of I kind of got to this place where I was like oh my god that's what religion is and my consciousness kind of shot out the top of my head and I just experienced that universal massive right. sort of Kundalini and enlightenment thing. I had no idea. I wouldn't have used the word Kundalini right. or enlightenment right. in those days. I just saw the light. Yeah. And then I kind of came back down in my little tiny halls bedroom and just thought to myself, I'm not going to let this fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to 
kind of go with this and and yeah. explain it and use it and you know i've got a lot of work to do here you know i've never heard about this sort of experience right right, right and right. and so i immediately went into a, a a huge downward spiral of depression of course uh-huh. and confusion and research right as right. well you know i just spent like eight years researching so you opened, out. sorry you opened your heart and then you climb back in your head, which is uh, what we all do, right? Yes. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, you, I was still in my heart. You know, I was just, yeah. I've always been living this up and down a sort of okay. you know, okay. manic-depressive thing. So I see. It, you've right. got both because I can spend, yes. I can open my heart and be in my heart. And that's just great, right? You know, I yeah, can yeah. be a spiritual dude. And then I go outside. Right. And everything's all dirty and horrible and everyone's <laughs> blowing each other up. And then I go home and see my parents and they're like, that's bollocks. Right, right, right. And it yeah. tears you apart. So of course you're, yeah. you're going to have like mixed feelings about this, 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 this yes. thing that you're into. Yes. My guides say we're deep behind enemy lines, Will. <laughs> we are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and we're doing we're doing really really well. We're we're yes we are. I agree with that. We're doing pretty amazing. We're very we're very blessed to uh, connect with Anrita, Melchizedek, um, and and this whole group. And to be a part of this group, I, it really feels like a like an honor. Um, brilliant, my friend. Tell me when painting and art became the focus in your in your life and in your work. Okay, I think I've always been doing it. Um, uh, we're going back in time and doing this story thing from the from the start or, or already. So um, whilst I was at university, rather than uh, thinking that designing some new kind of technology or system would be a good idea, right. I knew that to sh- uh, shift people's com- uh, consciousness and uh, you know raise vibration was was what we had to do. Right. Um, yeah. And you do and you do that through art. Yes. Yes. You do that through through sharing art. So so I so I knew at the end of my design degree that I needed to be an artist and um, right. and uh, but but uh, you know I'm still I'm still in the real world. So I I worked for a long time as an animator until right. Right. until I really started to get um a lot of a lot more kind of feedback from from source or higher self or whatever and these 11 11 started driving me crazy and, huh. and you know and i and i'd really i'd really kind of got into normal life so i was going out with a pretty 3d person and got we got married and had a kid uh-huh okay and as part of that i moved from london down to the west country down here and i did start doing art right at that time right and now, now I don't. I'm not really capable of working for the man anymore. And right. I do, the, I do this art all the time because I have to. And um, right, right. Yeah. So it's been been maybe maybe like a you know a decade really since I first made my first proper like okay. profes- professional painting. But okay, all right. Um, well, well, yeah, you, you sent me the uh, the link to your website, williamreardon.co.uk, which has lots of uh, amazing pieces on it. Um, and I like your, um, uh, your, the combination of the abstract and the, um, the literal uh, on, well, it, it looks like, um, you know, if I were to describe it to someone else, I'd say it's like a Jackson Pollock background. I'm, I'm sure you've heard this name once or twice when people look at your stuff. Yes. Yeah, but I love that, you know, it's cool. Yes. Yes, he's, he, he was a genius. Uh, you know, he, he, you're doing, there's a tremendous amount of energy that has to go into something like what you're creating artistically here through painting. So I really respect that, you know, because you have, you're channeling a lot of energy when you're creating these things, you know. And um, uh, then you've overlaid it here with a kind of a crop circle, to my mind, you know, uh, again, uh, forgive the language. Uh, but so um, what's, uh, so I, I know you have both, as you say, you're, you're, you're a great um, uh, channel, Will, here for the cosmic and, and the earthly, you know, and clearly you're, 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 a lot of your energy seems to my mind to be bringing these two 
seemingly contrasting realities up against each other or together. Does that make sense? It, well, yeah, I mean, that's how I speak. That's how I think. I mean, I'm, you know, everything is one is all I know. Right. Uh, but down here, we are constantly dealing with duality and, the, and, a, and these are a, uh, opposing but complementary right. um, the, the things which make up the whole. And yes. so, and so yeah. when, I, when I look around in the world and see anything separate, you know, I'm 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 living a, a human journey here. So you know, sure. and 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 for uh, and and so of course we talk we talk about male and female, and you know that's that's a, a story that goes on in my life. Sure. In the outside world, um, I look at science and philosophy, right. and right. these things are like opposing. You know, there's that they these things are opposites. So I'm yes. always going to try and bring those together. I'm going to try and right. bring technology in with art. Right, right. And also in these paintings, I bring the geometric together with the organic. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see these as like complementary opposing things. Sure, sure. So um, you weren't doing this as a child? Uh, this was after your awakening? Yeah, well, no, I mean, my awakening was when I was like 20. Yeah. Oh. When I was a child, I look back. Uh, when I was about 20, I was writing the exact same sort of stuff that I write now. Right. When I was a child, I already was doing sim sim similar stuff without as much awareness. Right, right, right. Um, I would think I played, so. I played with a lot of Lego. Okay, okay. You're getting ready. Okay. Um, brilliant, brilliant. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. And then you're also, you're, you're, uh, also doing guided meditations. You do energy work with people, transmissions, one-to-one -one well, sessions. That's, that's come cause I, you know, I was going so mad <laughs> and, yeah, and, yeah. and, and that's, and that's a big part of what, what I will share yeah. in, into the future as well is yeah. a lot about my experiences with mental health. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Feel free. Because you know, I've always been aware of what it is, but I know that I've experienced, uh, you know, the things which which have got a lot of labels that people right. people get drugged up for and put away for. You know. Right. Um, uh, yes. I have another artist uh, who's, 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 Sorry. Uh, well, I have another artist friend, Amy uh, Ekmau who I'm actually, she's, uh, she's a great painter. I'd love to connect the two of you. She's in the UK as well. Uh, and um, uh, she, uh, she and I are gonna chat about the Mayan calendar tonight because that's one of her, one of her gifts. Nice. And uh, so uh, I can, uh, I, maybe you'll, you'll drop in for that uh, this evening whenever that is, or I'll send you the link. But um, yeah, I mean, this is a, 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 of course, um, a, a very old story that, uh, you know, what society considers madness uh, is often, uh, you know, the most creative and uh, the most uh, fearless thinkers in our in our culture, and that's that's where change often happens. Uh, the quote from Steve Job is, uh, who was actually quoting uh, the chap who wrote Dharma Bums, Jack Kerouac. Here's to the crazy ones, you know, uh, the the mad geniuses who, who by breaking the rules change the world. Yeah. You know? And it's yeah. awesome. And like, you know, I'm a I'm a super happy, positive person. Everything's amazing. And uh, and you know and and I've and I've always clung on to that for for dear life uh, right. because I'm susceptible to depression and like if you're a depressed mad person that is not a fun, that's that's not a fun experience for no. anyone you know no. and no. And, I, I, and you know that's 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 where I've been for a little while sure. recently sure. Sure. I had a, you know my whole little family kind of broke down and. And it wasn't okay because yeah. of what it was. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Uh, obviously, things are now looking up. Um, yes. Will you, will, you, will you talk about your wonderful lady and your relationship and how that's helped you on your journey? Because I think yeah. we need to bring Bean into the story here at some point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when, um, when Lou first clicked on this Zoom thing and opened it up, 
Um, it, it just <laughs> created a, a connection here into our uh, personal lives. <laughs> where, um, you know, it's like you know, it's like twenty past eleven. So we've we've just got up here. Right, crack of dawn. <laughs> I'm down. I'm downstairs making a, a cup of tea and beans, just in bed. Right. Still, right. I have to Simple. say. Civilized, yeah. Yeah, we're we're totally, you know, we we know we know how to start a revolution, man. <laughs> we know exactly where to start a revolution from. Brilliant. And um, but she's um, made a huge difference in your life. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, because uh, I mean, this is this is something that we cover in our divine masculine and feminine webinar, the Glastonbury thing. Is it's you know it's all about that, and so I'm right. going to talk about that and share. But, um, uh, I suppose over over the over this whole long journey, but culminating uh, recently with a lot of support from the internet, like um, a lot of other people are going through these these sort of same spiritual experiences at the yeah. same time, which is yeah. really really amazing and really supportive. Yeah. Um, so certainly something that I've done in the last couple of years is. Um, really find a balance and marry that uh, male female aspect you know just find a place where I'm cool inside and I know that I'm fine on yeah. my own and a whole yeah. and one of the ways that I dealt with that as a human was to be pretty androgynous okay because I'm like I've got to you know I'm I'm in a male avatar here, but I'm really, really in touch with that divine feminine. Right. And I've completely, I've allowed that in to the point of, um, you know, the, the, the strength that I've had to find to let that flow whilst keeping at bay the, um, the cultural expectations of being a dad and bringing some cash in right and you know having any type of responsibility other than expressing myself through art right has been you know that's 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 what the the um the divine masculine in me has been doing has been standing there with a huge um you know staff with like a, a great big orb on the end of it okay. um, <laughs> f fending off reality mm. so that mm. the divine feminine in me can can um float around in this world in, in with absolute grace great and you know and, and so i've created my own reality here of of it being kind of fine for me to, to to be an artist in a world where it, it, yeah it's not yeah um and and being is is the one who keeps you on track i i i would well guess. you know being being's a, a much more recent addition you know so so i'm you know i've got this kind of huge sort of balanced but broken heart inside you know there's just pouring emotion everywhere you know i'm like so lonely i'm so uh, I'm either, uh, you know, detoxed or, you know, just going through all this stuff. And I'm like, why, why is this happening? Where is my twin flame? Mm. Mm -hmm. I've, I've married this male, female thing inside of me. Mm -hmm. And I want that to be reflected in the outside world in this reality with, uh, with a female form right mm -hmm. beside me to mm -hmm. reflect me. Right. And we can work together. And, and you got it, right? Yeah, well, well, yeah, I got it, but uh, I allowed it. And okay. so, being, you know, I allowed it. I've got a huge blockage there, blocking anything like any kind of, you know, I wasn't letting any money in, I wasn't letting any love in, nothing, you know. I've got these huge blockages. And eventually, um, you know, and I was working with that, of course. Eventually... Yes. Uh, I don't get a huge amount of feedback. <laughs> it may, may sound funny, but I don't get a huge amount of feedback from sort of 
spirit but i did get this message saying the next one you are gonna allow in okay yeah that's good and uh and it was Bean and we we're standing in a crop circle and she said to me, I kind of misheard her. <laughs> she said, "Okay." Why? she said like, why, oh, why can you, you can feel so far away? How can you be so close and yet so far away? Right. And, um, and she just meant like in general, I guess. Sure, sure. Didn't you? Uh, she meant aliens. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, you know, yeah. uh, as you know, angel, uh, human, alien, and um, right. uh, and I just thought she was like kind of talking to me, so I was like, okay, this is the one I'm going to allow her <laughs> in, right? And um, and and sh you know, sure enough, of course, she's the one, and we good. we haven't spent a moment apart. Wow! And we're wow. just and we're just kind of. Um, yeah, living and and believing and surrendering and and being being wonderful together and it's beautiful. It's just gonna skyrocket. Fantastic, fantastic! Isn't it, isn't it amazing? Yeah. Especially after you know, after like a, a a full decade of depression and sadness okay. and not being okay. Okay, I hear you. Wow, that's that's a powerful statement. Well, that's a wonderful thing that you have found uh, love in yourself and in your life, and it's reflected by your beautiful partner. Well done. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah Thank you for that. Exactly, exactly. Well, my friend, uh, tell us a little bit about your uh, your website, your energy work sessions, these kinds of things. How people can find you and, and work. Oh uh, yeah. Well, uh, uh, we didn't actually get down to the groups and the meditations and all that. So um, because I was uh, sure. You know, I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I kind of left my little family and just went and sat in my art studio. I wasn't even doing anything. I just sat in a chair and I was like, right. what the hell am I going to do? I'm getting sick. And the one thing that I found the energy to do was to go on Facebook and arrange an event where mm -hmm. the sort of star seeded people who I knew through doing bits and bobs of meditation Mm -hmm. that I was doing mm -hmm. I invited them down um, for a weekly thing so Tuesday nights was Galactic Council and we and I'd have a, a meditation and, and basically a little party Great. in my art studio mm. and that's what started things off and so uh, that kind of wound up eventually um, and now I've restarted it in a more professional manner in Avebury, oh. so we sit in uh, like upstairs in the shop in Avebury in the Elements shop, right in the middle of the Stone Circle, and 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 just we do our channel of light thing. You know, most people watching will know mm. what I'm on about. Mm. You know, here we are. What are we here to do? Just be that light. Mm be that, you know, just get that light from heaven, and bring it down to earth, make that connection and, and, and just be that. And that's exactly what we do. And we keep it really simple and there's, there's no messing around. Great. Uh, Great. With, within that, of course, it is infinitely expansive and people have all sorts of cool um, uh, experiences. Sure, sure. Um, but we so do if that. People, in the, if people in, go to your Facebook page, they would be able to find uh, how to connect with that? Yes. Very good. Yes, okay. they, they right. will. Okay, good. Yeah, it's called Galactic Council. Okay. Um, and and uh, yeah, I think one of the wonderful things that's happening with Bean is she's like, she's able to organize things, whereas I'm not really so. I've, my my online presence is quite expansive mm. Mm -hmm. and I have a note because I've got this uh, do you know what williamreardon.co.uk does act as a portal yeah yeah to, to everything yeah, yeah got, no, it's a beautiful beautiful website with a lot of great artwork and uh, you've got um, uh, yeah your poetry there you're reading something in front of a tree uh, that was lovely um, yeah well um, 
uh, coming down the home stretch here. Is there anything else you want people to know about? Do you do one to one sessions with people? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the so the new thing. I mean, yeah, I do. I, I you know, I I do. I practice and teach angelic reiki which has been oh, okay. a huge thing for me to get my energy sorted you know right so uh, and that's like that's the practice that i use when i when i set space and clear space and 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 do wow. healing and i you know and i teach that i can attune people right. to that Good. Um, um and so that's all up there you can find that definitely on those these pages okay and and yeah and that works with um distance healing so you can totally contact me and like pay me via paypal and we'll chat like this right. and you know it's it's, yeah. it's, it, it, it's it's amazing to 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 connect yes and um and, it, and it's really powerful and so yeah and I'd, so i do yeah i do these reiki sessions me and Bean work together and we're setting up a whole new much more professional looking outfit where we're both doing it and we both work together and you can see the art and you can buy stuff and great 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 it's all good okay wonderful is uh do you want to lay a little angelic reiki on us uh as we as we finish up here would you like to give us some energy yeah, I will. Brilliant, brilliant. This has been great. I'm sure the first of many chats you and I will get to have together. Oh, I would, it would, it would mean the world to me to chat to you regularly. Thank Lou. you. One, we can do it. Thank wonderful. you. Likewise, you're, you're a soul brother. Yeah, uh, yeah, aren't we all? So, um, just take some deep breaths and allow yourself to receive. A beautiful blessing from the angels from the universe right now. So just allowing a little tiny bit of time because there's angels all around you in this space and coming through to you. Just allowing a little bit of time for those angels to do the last bit of work. What they want to do with you today. And take a deep breath. When you're ready, you come back. Bless you. Bless you all. Thank you, brother. Perfect. There was such a such a tiny, tiny little taster. Mm. Did mm. you feel did you feel that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm surrounded by love and light, my friend. It it uh, fully stepped into the space and filled me up. It was gorgeous. That's beautiful. It, it, incredibly, you're actually kind of glowing, and it all looks <laughs> brighter in, in your in your space right now. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Sparkly, sparkly, twinkly. Brilliant. Yeah, man. Brilliant. It, Brilliant. Yeah, it really is. And um, and you know this healing, like you know. I don't know if I'm a channel, it, like it's uh, the sure, difference sure between Reiki and angelic Reiki is that I really step back and allow the angels to do their thing. That's channeling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, um, and, uh, and it's, and it's about allowing. Yes. Yes. Well, uh, you know, that energy is there for yes. you, for all of us all yes. the time. And, and if you just sit back and take a deep breath, you can let in exactly what you need. Yes. Yes, my friend. Can I tell you, because of the depth of your journey, Will, you see, when you do open your heart, as you feel safe to open your heart, as you just did in a powerful way, you know, it is a powerful thing. So you you're really know how to access your power by opening your beautiful heart in that deep way. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, for your gifts. Yeah. Bless you. Thank you for that confirmation. That's 
very good to hear. Yeah, it's 100% true. And the love of a good woman, my friend, is nothing to sneeze at. So enjoy. Yeah? Cheers. Cheers. Wonderful. Yeah, my best to you both. So my friend, I'll leave you there. And uh, pe people can uh, find us uh, Saturday week, March 23rd on the telewebinar. They can go to um, Voices of the Light Tribe uh, on Facebook and they can sign up to that, uh, the four of us, the, the, the full band together again. Uh, yeah, uh, for 22, yeah, 22 euro, it's gonna be two hours of uh, rocking and rolling. And um, on we go, my friend. We'll see you in June and talk before then, yeah? Bless you, bless you. you. See you soon. All right, God bless you. Thanks a million. Cheers, bye. Bye for now. See ya.